Here are 10 frequently asked questions about Clive Palmer's replica 1912 Titanic Ocean Liner to be called Titanic 2. Is Titanic 2 currently under construction? No. The latest estimate is that construction will begin in 2025. And Titanic 2 will enter service mid-2027. Is Titanic 2 just a publicity stunt that will never happen? No. Mr. Palmer really did spend a significant amount of money on the project. Most importantly, he commissioned the ship's design by appointing the Finnish naval architects, Delta Marin. In September 2013 a model of the Titanic's hull was tested in a water tank in Hamburg, Germany. Now why would Mr. Palmer go to the expense of testing a model of Titanic 2's hull, if the whole project was a publicity stunt? Will Titanic 2 be bigger than the original? No. Titanic 2 will be about the same size as the original and have a similar passenger capacity of 2,435. Will Titanic 2 be the world's biggest ship? No. She was the biggest ship in 1912. Today there are cruise ships over four times bigger than Titanic, such as Royal Caribbean's Oasis and Icon class ships. Will Titanic 2 have steam engines, like the original? No. She will have a modern diesel propulsion system. Will Titanic 2 be built at Belfast's Harland and Wolf shipyard, like the original? No. Clive Palmer said that she would be built at the Jingling Shipyard, in China, although this has not yet been confirmed. Will there be class divisions on board the Titanic 2, like the original? Yes. Titanic 2 will have three classes of accommodation, just like the original 1912 RMS Titanic had. Could Titanic 2 hit an iceberg? No. The Titanic 2 is being built to encompass new technology. For example, she will have a modern radar system capable of detecting objects in the path of the ship, many miles away. The Titanic 2 will be much more maneuverable. The risk of a ship smashing into floating ice today is now very slim. Will Titanic 2 have more lifeboats than the original? Yes. Titanic 2 will have to conform to all modern maritime safety regulations, which includes having modern lifeboats for 125% of the passengers and crew.